Hello lovelies, this is Omega, and yes, I'm wearing a witch hat. I just got back from, <laughs> it's pretty. I just got back from a party, a Purim party, and um, a Jewish holiday, and we all dressed up, so, whoa, there's my witch hat. And I have complete with a black cat, but uh, no animals allowed at that party, so. But I think they, I think it was the only witch there. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Um, I am doing the Sugar Muses um, Midnight Muses box for um, March 2020. And I pre cut a little bit of it so I wouldn't have to struggle with it. And Freddie, okay, Freddie be cool. So. We have a full moon. Well, it was yesterday technically, but um, what did you guys do? Did you guys do any rituals or anything fun, anything meaningful, or did you just kick back and enjoy the moon? Let me know. Uh, got a couple new subscribers, so thank you new subscribers for joining our little family here. Midnight Muses, The Crossroads, March 2020. Ooh, reminds, crossroads, could this be Hecate? The crossroads have been associated with magic and sorcery. Classically, the crossroad symbolizes the joining of roads, the balance of opposites, and the meeting of time and space. Deities and spirits associated with crossroads include Hecate, Hermes, Odin, Mercury, and Papa Lega, to name a few. Throughout history, offerings were left at shrines and statues for favors and blessings from them. This month, we highlight Hecate, the Greek goddess of beginnings, thresholds, and boundaries, light, necromancy, and crossroads. Uh, necromancy has to do with the dead. Um, she is the queen of witchcraft, sorcery, and magic. Thanks to her association with boundaries and the, no, Freddie, stop it, and the liminal spaces between worlds. Hecate is also recognized as a underworld goddess she is the holder of the keys that can unlock the gates between realms use this month's curated box to set intention spells for opportunity transformation change in destiny for spirit communication making wishes finding direction and making decisions or choices the magical items in this month's box can be used in the order they are listed or used separately um so let's get started and first we have this, the crossroads, and this is Hecate here, looks like. Very nice illustration. And I have my personal oracle card. What do you think it says, Freddie? Sun of the morning. Don't know what that exactly means, but I think we can find the meaning of them. Uh... Um, visit sugarmuses.com and search for the Hermetic Tarot by Godfrey Dawson. So mine says Son of the Morning. You'll get your own. I see uh, Aries. There's also some Hebrew in this as well, and a ram, which, which signifies Aries. This looks like a molecule up here. Reminds me of my organic chemistry class. <laughs> way 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 back okay so this is black and it's fitting of hecate and we have the midnight muses card um tea bag here or a bag to put your tea in rather oh look at that looks like oh is this a skull no way oh, i gotta look at this it is Look at this. It's a little skull. Is it glass or is it crystal quartz? Oh, wow. Underworld Shadow Box Tin. This tin was created with a hand poured resin skull. 
Spanish moss, dried um, star flowers, and chrysanthemums. Skulls are used in magical workings that include healing, divination, spiritual awakening, gateways creation, hidden mysteries, and power. They represent the third eye and crown chakras. They are also thought to be repositories of wisdom waiting to be unlocked. The skull may also be used as a doorway or portal into other realms when held during incense, intense meditation or path working. Spanish moss magical properties include fertility, regeneration, growth, love, and strength. It, it is used to stuff into dolls for healing and to attract love, to make war water as stuffing in herbal pillows added to witches bottles and used in communication and travel spells. So this is the tin it comes in. Isn't that cute? I think these are the chrysanthemums here. And this must be the star flower here. Let's see, there's a better one here, bigger. This is one here. And the Spanish moss. How cute is that? And it has a little skull. That is so awesome. And it just fits so nicely in this little tin box. Oh, love it. I'm already loving this. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. It's like a skeleton key. It's, you know, it's very befitting of me wearing black and being um, a witch for Purim. Oh, oh! Look at this, it makes sound, look at this. Is this like, okay, this is the triquette right here. It's a little tangled up, but let, we'll, we'll get it. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I guess you can, you can even use this as a keychain. It's a little big for that. It's got a, it has a crystal on it. And it has a pentacle, bells, the key itself. Look at that. This is so neat. Wow. Um, Witch bells. These bells can be used in casting the magic oracle circle. They may also be used to signal and summon the spirits in many summoning rituals. These bells feature a key, one of the symbols strongly associated with Hecate. Many witches have little bells hanging from their doorknobs to scare away unwanted spirits as they are enchanted. Witch spells, to do this, you may wish to say three times, guard our home, Guard our home, bell on the door, let evil spirits come no more. Evil spells shall not be cast, and good fortune shall ever last. That's what's here. You don't have to say that, but... Oh, wow. Look at that. Can I get Freddy? I'm going to feel like start pawing at it. Hey, Freddy. Okay. Oh, this is great. This is just great. Okay. And it looks like Palo Santo with either cornflower or lavender. Dried lavender. Oh, that's in the Palo Santo smudge bundles with wormwood, lavender, and Palo Santo. Uh, wormwood's magical properties include protection, love, and to aid with divination. Lavender is the sacred herb of Hecate, and Palo Santo is a mis mystical tree that grows on the coast of South America and is ethically harvested from fallen limbs. It is known to raise your vibrations in preparation for rituals. 
It is also said that Palo Santo enhances creativity and brings prosperity. Once burned, collect the remaining ashes left and tie them up in a cloth and keep them as a good luck charm. Cool. All right. Go to this. And this is the trio that we usually get for the Midnight Muses. Uh, usually contains a casting salt, an offering, incense blend, what have you. And this is the lavender. Um, dried lavender. And I already, we already talked about what it is, what it signifies. Uh, casting salts. Oh, cast gorilla powder. I made some of my own, but it's nice to get this. This is, you can make your own out of eggshells and it's um, very protective. Uh, I'll read it here. Oh, Freddie, don't. Freddie, get down. It was very hard to do it when you're like this, filming here. Okay, just here, why don't you go over here for a minute. Oh. No, stay there. I have work. I'm working. Um, Casperilla powder. Pressed into chalk and used to draw a magical line or circle for protection or to draw protective symbols. It may also be added to a floor wash to cleanse your house of negative energy or added to a ritual bath to wash away negative energy. Casperilla powder can be Dust it onto your body to protect you from negative energy or dust your hands if you shake a lot of people's hands throughout the day. If you have a spell object and wish to dispose of it, dust your hands with a powder before picking it up to protect you from being energetically affected by the item. It may also be sprinkled around your home to clear out negative energy and protect you from spiritual attacks. And this oh my could this be is this graveyard dirt <laughs> cross what rose dirt ha this is awesome graveyard dirt okay crossroad dirt witches have been visiting crossroads for centuries it is there that spirits and, and entities can be summoned for favors. The energy around these crossroads is believed to caused by the constant contact with the other side. The energy and power at these crossroads will leave a strong energy residue. This is why crossroads dirt is highly prized and used often. This dirt is hand collected using traditional methods from the three corners of a crossroads and is hand sifted Set in a dish of cross set a dish of cross road dirt on your altar, then anoint the hand rolled beeswax candle with a few drops of the crossroads oil and burn during a waning moon to aid in the removing of obstacles. After your work is done, it may be discarded back into a crossroad or away from your property along with the remaining wax. So cool. Purple stone, is this amethyst? I just love the combination of colors, purple and black. So let's see what this is. Red Freddy. Try to get this untied. Okay. Sometimes these are not, they're listed, but they're not in, um, they're kind of sometimes in the description of other things. Um, organic tea, crossroads dirt, beeswax candle, oil, dry lavender, incense sticks, 
Must be in here. I'm, maybe I'm missing it. Oh, it's in the seam. Tumbled amethyst. Semi-precious gemstone that promotes transformation, helps break bad habits, and is an excellent third eye stone to use for journeying and spirit communication. All right. And this is the beeswax candle. And, oh, we got incense too. Palo Santo and incense. And I think this is the Nag Champa. Blend of highly fragrant Champa flowers, rare gums, resins, and powders. It's used as an auric energizer and is said to bring one's energies into harmonious balance. Burn some incense at the beginning of your spell and work rituals to cleanse your space and tools. And this must be the ritual oil. Is this the roll, roll on one? Is that the roll on one? It is. And it says Crossroads Ritual Oil. I love the amber uh, bottle. And Ritual Oil. This oil was inspired by Crossroad Magic. Use it in spells to seek favors, manifest desires, and banish harmful spirits. It is crafted with the essential oils of patchouli, amber, and almond oil that is infused with crossroad dirt and dark roots. Anoint your ritual candle with a few drops of the oil before burning. This oil may be also be used to anoint yourself. Great. Well, crossroads, I thought it was graveyard dirt, not necessarily crossroads dirt. Is that a crossroads? I have graveyard dirt uh, for my ancestors. Um, and um well my parents as well um and um my great 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 grandfather i found out where his grave was and um i have some graveyard dirt from that as well so um got one more thing here here's the tea polari organic tea look at this like shiny ingredients. Fennel seeds, flax seeds, fenugreek seeds, licorice root, and peppermint leaf. There you go. And if you wish to do an additional spell ritual work, now is the time to do so. When you're ready, open and pull up the circle and ground yourself by releasing any X. Oh, this is at the end of it. You may also wish to ground yourself with some food and a cup of Polar Polari organic tea. Cool. And I guess that's it. Oh, what's this? What the heck? Tootsie Roll? No way. What is that doing in here? A Tootsie Roll? Is that even... How did that get in here? It's a great Tootsie Roll. <laughs> I don't, I don't see it in here. Am I missing it? Am I, am I missing it? Okay, I'm putting this in the light. Okay, so we got the tarot card, the artwork, shadow box tin, witch bells, polar organic. Well, it's purple. I don't think this is an accident. I can't find it. Um, honestly, it may be in here, but I don't see it. Um, if anyone gets this, um, can you like post <laughs> what this is? I mean, what the significant is? I mean, I, 
I probably can't eat it because of my braces. I can't have anything fun. I ha can't have star Starburst. I can't have gummy bears. I can't have Jordan almonds anymore. Um, I mean, none of the fun stuff. So I'm eating lots of soft food and it's not fun. Um, I have this box for the last couple days, but again, brackets came off and there was one up on the upper right and then the lower left. And it was so painful because the wire, which was hooked, came out and was digging into my gums and my cheek. I couldn't stand it. I was just in so much pain. So um, again, and drive hundreds of miles to get it uh, fixed. So just hopefully I won't have to go back to the orthodontist anytime soon. So, um, but I feel okay today, you know, except with the slurring of my speech, I'm, I'm like trying to adapt to this um, braces things. And I really, I'm trying, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm older, but I really don't like them. I feel like I should just throw in the towel and just, you know, hey doc, take these off. But I've already paid like, they're like $8,000. Insurance covered about three, no, 2,600. And I pretty much had to pay the rest, most of it. So, I mean, it's a lot of money. So, this is what you get. Um, if anyone finds this in their box, can you please tell me what this, what it's for? A grape Tootsie Roll? <laughs> or fruit, fruities, grape? I honestly, I don't see it here. I, I don't see it here. But it's purple, so maybe it was meant to be here. Um, okay, so I'll just go over what we got. We got the tea with the um, bag that it comes with. The Palo, stop it, Freddie. The Palo Santo with um, the mugwort and the lavender. The Nag Champa incense sticks. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Stop it, Freddie. It, stop it. So it's eight of them, which is a good amount. There, you can't get to it anymore. The amethyst, the tumbled amethyst. The crossroads ritual oil. The lavender. Still got a little bit of hair here. You notice everything, don't you? I love these little vials, these the corks on them. Cascarilla powder. And if you make it in bulk, you could always, once you use this up, you can put it here. Ow, pretty in your nails, ow. Okay. Okay, over here, Freddy. It's enough with your nails. Crossroads dirt. Witch's Bells, oh, I love this. I love this, this is awesome. And this tin with a resin skull in it. This is just great. I mean, this is great. And this is the smaller box. And um, you get your tarot card. And not, you know, not to mention the artwork that this is done by Christy. So thank you, Christy. You knocked it out of the park. You really did. I mean, I absolutely love this box. And, um, oh, it's got a little key in it. Look, there's a little key. So I'm totally blown away. I, I just love this. Uh, so this is the Midnight Muses box uh, from Sugar Muses, and um, I can't, I can't wait to hang these bells up. I guess you know what? It looks like you could use it as it's curing. I don't know. I don't know. 
we'll see. I don't know what to do with it, but I, I just love the way this feels and the way it sounds. So anyways, this is Omega. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment below. Uh, let me know what you did on your full moon, uh, any special ritual or um, reading any books or anything like that, uh, what your ritual was for. Uh, I love the full moon and um, I try pretty much every month to do something if I'm not working um, on the full moon. But let me know and um, I will see you next time. This is Omega 13 signing off. Bye y'all.